Well, 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 so you wanted to learn how to craft in Star Valor. Well, there's one easy way to do it. It's actually not as complicated as you think. So you go to a lovely station, probably try to find one with some bismuth or some nickel or something. Definitely microchips are required. Make sure you have some scrap on you which we have 349 plus a bit. Make sure you have some base components, whatever, for upgrade kits. That will do you good. Then you go to your crafting menu and there's a few things you can do here. You can do ship enhancements. Every ship has a couple slots in here and you can spend fine components, base components, you know, superiors, regulators, that kind of stuff to upgrade your ship. Uh, you are limited to two tier twos, one tier three, or as many tier ones as you can fit into it. With blueprints, these are all the various things that you have scrapped. So I'll give you an example. I'll just go down and scrap a couple fusion reactors. I don't think we have this on the list. We don't, so I will scrap it twice. So you see, you get some XP, you get some stuff bottom right corner here. Then I'll scrap it a second time and you'll learn the blueprint. There are rare occasions where you do not learn the blueprint on two tries. So just be aware of that when you're scrapping very good equipment. So high tier equipment. Now, you can see that the fusion reactor here that we just scrapped now takes three microchips and five fine components to make one of them. As you craft these and scrap them, you will get extra blueprints uh, experience to get to tier two. This will make it green, tier three will make it blue, tier four will make it purple. And you can craft purples, it just costs more stuff. So, okay, that's all great. You can make things that you find here, but how do you get the big daddy weapons? How do you make your weapons look like this? All these cool things, like ignore the Venky Light Blasters, but how do, you, how do you get these things? Well, you have to craft them specifically. Like an AP torpedo, gotta craft it specifically. So, let's, that is what we're here to do, and this is the crafting menu. How does this work? Well, based on your tech level, I'll show you by pushing B. I have 33 tech level. So based on your tech level, you can put in specific components. So each one costs a tech level. You're going to see here an add red laser and it takes tech level two. Then we'll do another red laser. Still tech level two because now we have two components. So minimum for crafting is two. It looks like if I put in three, it'll be three and four and five and six. And we'll just keep going all the way up to 10. Look, tech level 10. So a 10 size laser is tech level 10 to create which means if you're tech 9 you can't make this here's the items that it takes to make so i don't want to make this i want to make a four sized weapon so what would i do if i wanted to make a four sized weapon well we have some options we can do any of these various things let's do a laser i'm gonna go with purple for range yeah we'll do a purple laser and i want it to be four and i want it to be continuous so now you see that i've added an extra thing in here this counts as two for tech level. Overload counts as one. Oh, it counts as two as well, tech level five. There's minimum tech levels, it looks like. And we can make it charging. So if I put in four charging pieces, now you can see we're at seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Space is two. You have one space for laser core and you have one space for continuous. You can see in the attributes here, it says 100% space used. So all these attributes affect what's going on. Some of them don't affect space use, some do. So if I wanted to make this laser, which I can right now, it'll cost a whole whack of money and it will do lots of damage. Now, if you want to compare what you have currently, so right now it's trying to build this weapon, charging overload laser beam, and it's comparing it to the last weapon I had selected. It could be a weapon in the list that you own. So if we just compare it to say an improved laser, or we can compare it to a laser here. So I'll just show you overload laser beam. And here you go. All right, let's turn this off because this is how you'll see it. So here's our overload laser beam. This is a PD that we have versus the charging overload beam. You can see the differences in everything, space and whatever. Now, if we compare that to say this one, this is our main weapon that we use. You can see a lot of difference, but this one is upgraded. Our overload 3P laser beam. So if you want to see the raw values, you can take it back to the raw values to see what happens when you uh, when you don't have it upgraded. So this is what it was when it was white, and this is what you're gonna make, and obviously you can upgrade it, so then you'll get a, a rough idea of where you'll land in terms of damage and all your different numbers. 
So there's some things to keep in mind um, for when you're doing this. You get free boosters. So free boosters, all of these are boosters. Whereas the laser core just adds another core, that's more damage. And everything else in here is a booster. So if you put in a booster, it's free, as in free size. So I just added a heat sink in, lowered our heat used for this lovely weapon. So it used to be 225, and then now it's 202. Tech level's gone up to eight because we're using eight components. Space is still two. If I add another heat boost or heat sink booster here, so now we have two heat sinks, lowered the heat. Tech level's nine, space is three. We've added half of the space for this plus 100% for continuous. So let's remove continuous here and you'll get the you'll get the idea now that we have space one. This is a regular laser. It goes pew, 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 pew. Just shoots kind of like a medium laser or a light laser. Uses lots of heat, uses lots of energy. It's a pretty good weapon. You're right, it's charging. Add the extra heat sink and now it's 1.5 space because we're over our free boosters. Now you can get rid of that by adding in boosted this gives you 50 percent free boosters now it works on lasers because lasers there's like some rounding that happens so we're here in the smaller weapons like a pd it's actually not going to work so if i put in a pd and let me just remove this guy even if it's boosted right so pd here uh makes the free boosters half and I think the size becomes space used 50%. So you actually lose your ability to have a free booster here. And let's remove charging just so this weapon makes sense. So an overload PD is a very common weapon you'll use. Um, obviously sp space is really low, but you can make it a one space by adding in heat sinks. So right now this is not a free item. It added space. If I put boosted in, it doesn't actually remove the space because of the math here. PD does that 50% space used, 50% free boosters. So you actually don't get it unless you do two cores. So just keep that in mind that you actually don't get the free booster and boosted in the PD unless you're up to two cores. So you could do something like this and make like a really strong PD. That's a pretty good one. I like continuous PD. So if I add continuous in here, it'll go to space two. And then we can probably just remove a heat sink. Oh, we don't even need to remove a heat sink. We can just keep it. This is a PD. I have built many of these. It's a size two PD. I think if we get rid of our heat sinks, it will stay. And because of the math, you can see it says free booster, but even if we add one in, it doesn't do much. So you can play around, mix and match, make all kinds of stuff here. Well, um, you can do all kinds of different things. There's plasma cores. You just got to get this stuff and then you're good. And just play around with the sizes. Put in slow fire, it'll add in these mods. So what are all these different weapons? Well, blue laser core takes blue crystals and has, well, these modifiers. Let me just reset this. Has those stats. Red one takes different materials, red crystals, has different stats. Red's for critting. Purple is for your ranged. Green is for projectile speed. So if you want some you know, PD that just shoot. Green is probably the way to go. Projectile speed is really good for, for hit scanning. Um, ion cores, I don't really use these weapons or haven't used these weapons yet, but they do damage to shield and drain target. Says so in the tooltip. Only does energy and shield damage. Doesn't do hull damage at all. Plasma cores, just big fatty um, weapons. They use green and red crystals. Also titanium. For your missiles. I craft missiles early game, but after that, eventually you'll get a missile called the Peacemaker. It's really good. Venki missiles really good. I haven't been able to figure out how to make missiles as good as those, but you can um, you can add in multiple explosions to make your missiles explode better. So this is a heavy mount missile. So if I want just a single missile with a massive explosion radius, there you go. You can just do that. I like to do speed boosters on my missiles. And you can see it costs some extra stuff. You can also put time fuse on it, certain distance. So wherever your mouse is, that's where it's going to blow up. That could be pretty good. This Nadolo's mod, it, uh, it changed. Let's just reset this and I'll make, um, let's just do a cannon. And we'll do like a size four cannon here. We'll make it like big fat cannon. We'll do rapid fire because, you know, fun. 
Armor piercing, sure. Can I make it exploding and armor piercing? Oh yeah. This is a massive cannon, okay? It shoots really fast, eight per second, whatever. If I put on, so let's say you don't have 61 heat per second in your ship's hard point. You can put on the Nodolo's mod, you'll lose some damage. So you see how the damage came down. It's heavy mount, so it's gonna use two refined metal, but look at that, 35. We actually might be able to use this now if I look at the, uh, the heat here. Oops, heat is here. So on our ship, we have weapon cooling of 61. Uh, and we have 150 max heat. You can see on the top there, it says weapon max heat 150 and cooling 40. That's the base stats. Then I have 10% plus 10%. And I think I have a heat sink in this thing. Yeah, I have a pirate heat sinks. I have some heat sinks. So we're at 61. We can actually run, if I go back in there, we can actually run this cannon just fine without the Nadolos mod full damage. So I can make this cannon and we can run that. I'd probably put a heat sink in it at least. And then the rest would, might be speed boost or crit boost. Crit chance is pretty high on this thing. But if I do like speed boost and then we'll do some range boost because we can. Uh, nope, nope, bad idea. Uh, we have one booster and I gotta keep it under, I think we did it. An eight size cannon, although for our purposes, I can only do a six size cannon. So I probably have to do something like that. So if I make this six size cannon, we can put this Gatlin cannon into our ship with the low cost of some aluminum and nickel and whatever all this is. And we can put that into our six sized slot here and just shooty shooty bang bang like crazy. Um, you can craft ships, you can craft items. Uh, so remember, like if I wanted more Vengi Light Blasters, you can't craft these as a core component. So I would have to scrap them first, take them off the ship, scrap them, and then I can craft more of them. So that goes for anything you've got. If you wanna make more sweeper drives, you can break down two of them and then make more. If you find two Battle Computer 3s, you can break down two of them and then you can make more. It's the same for shield generators and everything. So anything you get, you can always scrap twice for the most part and then start crafting them permanently. So most of the time, if you're in a game and you want, uh, like I can make Andorian batteries, for example. So I can scrap these two and just start making them myself as long as I have the materials. You get materials, so if I put on like a damage booster and stuff, you get refined metal from debris fields. You get scrap metal from debris fields. Microchips you'll get from stations. Not all stations have them. You'll find them in the goods tab. Most stations have these. Civilian stations should always have them. Bangi, maybe not. Pirate stations should have them. PMC and Syndicate Station should have them. When it comes to bismuth and all these other materials, bismuth is for heat sinks. Um, I think nickel is for boosters. Oh, copper is for these critical boosters. Nickel is for speed and ranged. But you can see what you need in terms of materials. So it's a pretty intuitive system in terms of how easy it is to build stuff. Um, when you're comparing, say, a regular medium laser to a laser that you can make that's also medium. So we'll do this. Just go in here and I'll make a red laser and we're gonna compare this. So you can already see a single core red laser at Tech 2 is already better than a regular medium laser, right? Use a little more energy, but big deal, even with no boosters on it. So when you're running and you're first in the game, if you can hit up some early debris fields, you can actually upgrade your weapons past medium immediately. So if you're just running medium lasers, you can just jump in and do better, right? I can even add, I can add whatever. You can you can make them faster shooting medium lasers. You can make them point defense. So if I want two and a half speed shootings, now the DPS has gone up. If I want to make Gatlin lasers, you know, the DPS goes up really fast. Obviously the heat's now a problem. So on a small ship, you do something. Maybe this will work. Hey, you'd have to get some heat for that. You can't do three on a small ship. I'm thinking like on a, a yacht or a shuttle that has 12 or 15 heat. I think on a yacht, you have 15 heat. So you should be fine. 
I'm gonna go trade ships. Look at a yacht here. Yeah, yachts have 15 heat, so you know you could do a a rapid laser that's better than a medium by DPS and shoots faster and shoots farther. You could also get um, you could change the core, not do red core as an example, and you could do like a green core if you wanted if you wanted more projectile speed. So you can see the difference here. It still shoots farther because it's a it's a crafted weapon, but now your projectile speed is a little bit faster. So there you go. That is crafting in a nutshell. I hope you've enjoyed this 18 minute video. I'll have to cut things up, make it a little faster, and I'll see you in the next one.